Hello, I'm David Anson. Only a few major movie directors have attempted to put opera on film. Most notably, there was Ingmar Bergman's enchanting film of the magic flute, Joseph Losi's Don Giovanni, and Franco Zeffirelli's Traviata. Zeffirelli was noted as an opera director, of course, but his fellow countryman, Francesco Rossi, who made the stirring version of Bizet's Carmen we'll see tonight, had never done anything like it on film before. Rossi isn't as well known in America as some of the other Italian masters, but the man who made Three Brothers and Eboli is a world-class filmmaker. His approach to Carmen, that oft-told tale, is entirely free of the musty traditions of the stage. He places the story of lust and jealousy and murder in the hot, dusty streets and bull rings of Spain. His Carmen, as played by the young American soprano Julia McGinnis Johnson, is one hot number, a fiery and fickle sensualist. The renowned tenor Placido Domingo plays the love-struck Don Jose. Beautifully photographed and convincingly acted, this Carmen manages to be faithful to Bizet's glorious music and yet remain every inch a movie. And now, Francesco Rossi's Carmen. Coming up next on Bravo, murder is the name of the game when two lovers, a vengeful husband and a small-time detective, clash heads in the darkly humorous thriller, Blood Simple, next on Bravo. Bravo is proud to present a big event in the world of cinema, the unforgettable epic spanning six decades of history through the eyes of one small village, Heimat, the homeland. It's about war and peacetime, about mothers and their sons, about being young and growing old. It's about discovering love for the very first time and finding it again. It's about the dawn of a new age and the burial of another, about capturing a moment and preserving it forever. It's about searching for answers and not always getting them. It's about dying, and most of all, it's about life. Germany unfolds in a complex tapestry when Bravo presents Edgar Reitz's powerful look back at a homeland that withstood the tides of a stormy history. The epic eight-part series, Heimat. It's everything you think of when you remember home. Premiering Sunday, February 2nd, 8 Eastern, on Bravo. Since ancient times, the complex relationship between mother and son has intrigued the great artists of the world. Now, Italian director Bernardo Bertolucci explores this sensitive theme in his beautifully filmed Luna. You know what I did once? <laughs> I locked myself up in the bathroom and I tried to kill myself. Mom? Oh. Jill Klaper gives a brilliant performance as a mother so absorbed in her career and herself, she forgets her son until it's too late. Then I take a shot and everything's beautiful. It all goes away. Shooting up makes me feel wonderful. How oh, can I help you? Leave me alone. Just go away. Matthew Barry is the son, torn between his blinding love and his bitter memories. He wanted something different. He was selfish and... in love with his mother. A story that challenges us all. Luna, premiering Friday, February 7th, 8 Eastern on Bravo. And now, take a break for Bravo's Trials and Tribulations. What cult film starring the son of actor Martin Sheen follows a young punk rocker's initiation into the car repossession business?
It's Emilio Estevez as Repo Man. See it this month here on Bravo. And tune in for more Trials and Tribulations on the channel that gives you more to cheer about. Bravo.
bene? Ok, stop, stop it. Facciamo un'altra volta. Oh, otra vez.
pilote, trompez pilote, à ce que passe-t-il Plus de cristal et sang, plus de cristal et sang, les torrents s'élancent en bandissant, holy toril, il s'élance, il en triade, un cheval rôle, entraîne à ses picadores. the champagne and strike up the band. Bravo's celebrating its fifth anniversary, and you're the guest of honor. How come you didn't tell me? For the past five years, Bravo has brought you the finest international award-winning films, showcasing talent from around the world. Great directors, bright stars, exclusive festivals, exciting premieres. Bravo! And Bravo is more than great films. I'm gonna say, and this is the best part. For five years, we've brought you the gift of performance specials, from glorious opera to dynamic jazz. With Bravo, there's never a reason to fight for front row seats. Night after night, the best seats in the house are at your house. As we celebrate our fifth anniversary, we invite you to stand up and take a bow. You chose Bravo, a world of quality television that's second to none. Bravo. You've got a lot to cheer about.
quiet summer morning in the pastoral Italian countryside, two boys of vastly different worlds are born, and with them comes the dawn of a new century. It was a period of upheaval, confusion, and hope, a time when happiness gave way to despair, when innocence became exploitation. But through the misery of war and social strife, what triumphed was a friendship founded on destiny. Bravo is proud to present a truly big event in the world of cinema, the original uncut version of Bernardo Bertolucci's sweeping epic, 1900, a monumental chronicle of the birth of an era and the survival of a nation. Robert De Niro, Gerard Depardieu, Donald Sutherland, and Burt Lancaster star in a story of two boys, one country, and a friendship that withstood the test of time, 1900. A two-part big event presentation, February 6th and 7th on Bravo. Tonight on Bravo, you've got a lot to cheer about. First, murder is the name of the game. When two lovers, a vengeful husband and a small-time detective, clash heads in the American television premiere of Blood Simple. Then, Georgia Brown and Herschel Bernardi star in Actor, a lively musical play depicting the life of Paul Muni. And only the strongest can survive a post-apocalyptic world in the national cable premiere of the cult classic, Le Dernier Combat. It's all ahead tonight on Bravo. I'm E.G. Marshall, and welcome to Bravo's feature presentation of the comic thriller, Blood Simple. Inspired by the hard-boiled detective stories popular during the 1940s, Blood Simple is set in Texas during the present. The story involves a man who discovers his wife as a lover and hires a sleazy private detective to kill them both. Now, if this plot sounds familiar, be forewarned that any similarities to the old detective genre end right there. This highly original movie is anything but predictable. Blood Simple is the collective brainchild of two movie-crazed brothers from Minneapolis, Joel and Ethan Cohen. Wanting complete creative control, the Cohens independently produced the film, managing to raise the money in a rather unusual way. Instead of having an agent shop around a treatment of the script, which is the norm, the Coens invested several thousand dollars of their own money in a slick two-minute trailer. Then they showed it to potential investors, mostly from their hometown. The result, one and a half million dollars and blood simple. The film was co-written by both brothers and directed by Joel. Of his effort, the New York Times said, black humor, abundant originality, and a brilliant visual style make Joel Cohen's Blood Simple a directorial debut of extraordinary promise. Quite a remarkable review for what I know you'll find to be quite a remarkable movie. And now, brace yourself for Blood Simple. 